Oh, Eddie, where to begin? From the moment you entered this world, we knew that we had been blessed. Being the oldest son, you have been a great role model for your siblings and have influenced them to see the positives of life. From the first words spoken, Cheetos and baseball ball, through your high school graduation, the goals that you have worked on and achieved are humbling to us. The goal-driven approach and the confidence you exhibit will serve you well, especially if you continue to lean on our Heavenly Father for your strength. As you progress through the challenges of West Point, always remember that your entire family is supporting you through prayer. You have known for seven years where you wanted to attend college, and now you have realized that goal. There have been challenges and moments of doubt along the way, but perseverance prevailed. Through faith, the power of prayer, and hard work, your dreams will be achieved. We are honored that God gave you to us to start your journey in life, growing into manhood. Never give up and always allow God to lead you. Observe the blessings of our Father around you and enjoy the journey. Your, your entire, entire family, family loves, loves you, you. Mom, Mom and Dad. Dad, and all of your siblings. We've waited 18 years for this moment, 18 years to see that much-deserved walk across that stage while trying to hold back the hooping and hollering and tears so that we don't embarrass you. 18 years of little moments of self-sacrifice so that you could wear that dress, so you could drive that car, wear those clothes. 18 years with moments of secretly crying because we felt inadequate or questioning ourselves whether we did it right or whether you felt loved enough. Were we too hard or not hard enough? So many steps, so many milestones, many tears, many laughs, some frowns and disappointments along the way also. So many hours of study, so many yeses, and probably many more no's. This I know for sure, every moment leading up to now, we have been preparing you. Preparing you for the ups, preparing you for the downs, the failures and the successes. Preparing you to think for yourself, to talk for yourself, and to go after what you believe. We've watched you stumble and we've watched you get right back up. We as parents want to salute you. We couldn't be more proud. While images of you reaching out for your diploma dance in my head, I remember this. God is in control. His ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts higher than our thoughts. He knows the weight of your sorrows and he bottles up every one of our tears that we cry. He knows that all of these years of preparation is just a dress rehearsal for something even bigger. We are so proud of you. We can't wait to see what God has in store for this next chapter of your life. We love you. As you prepare to graduate from high school and enter the next phase of your life, we want you to know how super proud we are of you. We thank God for allowing us to be your parents. You have taught us so much about pure love. Davis, you have grown up so much over the years and you chose your own path, even if that meant not following the crowd and being left out of some things. You learned to be more concerned with your character and integrity than your reputation. You made tough choices to stay home and hang out with your parents and your brother instead of participating in other things that you did not want to be a part of. And let me add, we loved having you hang out at home. You showed courage to stay true to yourself and not follow the crowd. Good kids still exist. Thank you for being one of those kids. Thank you for staying on course. Thank you for teaching us and thank you for being you. As your parents, we are ready to take a step back now. Well, maybe not your mom but we're excited to watch your life unfold. Ready to watch you continue to grow as a fine young man. We trust you will embrace all that life gives you. We trust you are ready and can handle whatever life throws at you. We also trust that you know to call your grandparents, not us, if you overdraw your bank account. Always stay true to who you are. Place God at the center of everything you do. Fulfill your responsibilities to the best of your ability. Always treat others with kindness. Show gratitude to all those who have gotten you to where you are today. Don't look down on anyone unless you're helping them up. Remember, there's no place like home. Davis, never forget, you're always welcome at home. Enjoy your graduation, and please allow your mom to take all the pictures she wants. Dude, I know it's annoying, but it means the world to her. Some things never change. We love you more than you will ever know. Go make great memories, be confident, spread your wings and fly. Congratulations. 
Noah, my little peanut, these past 18 years have flown by. When I look at you sometimes, I still see that silly little toddler always trying to dress up in his sister's dresses. I see that kind-hearted little boy that I always got compliments about how well-behaved and well-mannered you were. You have grown so much, and I'm so excited to see where you will go and what you will accomplish in life. This year has been especially difficult, and you have gone through things that I never wanted any of my kids to have to endure. Noah, I pray for you, and I love you. I know that you have a good head on your shoulders, and you're going to go far in life. And you're going to accomplish so much, Noah. You're loved not only by me, but your entire family and everyone that meets you. You have such a sweet spirit, and I hope that you never lose that. I love you so much, Peanut. Congratulations. Dear Bella Boo, oh, how we love you. Your smile, energy, and how you push through is like a lightning rod to most situations and rooms. From the very first day I met you, and I held your littleness in my arms. I knew you were going to be a difference maker. Your eyes would cause me to lose sight of everything around and focus on what I could do to help you. And I did help. Either chasing you around, getting you from climbing up on almost everything you could. You wanted to be on top of the world and was trying to get there one step at a time. When you came down to Sacramento the summer you turned six years old and told your mom not to mess it up with me, I knew that I had chosen you, but I th think you chose me too. And I feel like the luckiest dad in the world that you did that. Yes, we may not seem eye to eye, but I, am, I have remained your biggest fan. Always helping you with band, your car, helping you see the world. And I cannot wait to see your adventures you have over the next few years at college and as an adult. Just remember, I'll never stop choosing you. I love you, Dad. Oh, my Bellaboo. You are my dreamer, my head in the clouds, little girl. We started this journey just us, but God has given us an amazing family and life together. He has let you experience the wows of a family and church family that loves you unconditionally. Your drive and ambition never stops. From your hula hoop competition in first grade to your latest pageants and theater plays. You always keep me on my heels, chasing behind your fast paced dreams and plans. To be honest, I would be happy chasing you forever but I know now you have to do the next leg of the race on your own. I have seen your love for God and others blossom, and I know that when you go to college and onto the workplace, those core values will be shining through like a bright star. You will continue to make others laugh, be a shoulder to lean on for your friends, and be unstoppable in your pursuits. I was trying to think of a verse that reminds me of you, and Psalms 37.5 is just that. The message version reads, Open up before God and keep nothing back. He'll do whatever needs to be done. He'll validate your life in the clear light of day and stamp you with an approval at high noon. Bella, continue to keep God close to your heart and your plans. As He has done in the past, He can comfort you and give you peace during stressful times. Life will not always be easy, and there may not always be a clear path, but through your faith and trust in the Lord, all things are possible. And believe me, I'm sure you will take God to court on the all part of that verse, and I know he will deliver. I love you more than I can express, and I'm going to be on the sidelines cheering and praying for you. Love, Mama. My dearest Jacob, children are a gift of the Lord. Well, you are my surprise gift from the Lord, and your daddy and I were ecstatic. Love is not easy to put into words, especially a mother's love, the depth of which is unfathomable. Watching you grow these past 17 years has been the joy of my life. I get teary and emotional as I ponder on the wonderful years of your childhood. My beautiful baby boy that I held in my arms is now a fine, handsome, strong young man. I miss the two-year-old in a sagging wet diaper 
wanting to sword fight with his brother, and the five-year-old that ran through the house as his sister chased him with a can of pledge while he screamed, Poison! She's going to poison me! And occasionally, I missed the nights we had to sit up together until the storm had passed by because you were too frightened to sleep. As a mother raises her son, so does a son raise his mother. Your quick wit and playful sense of humor always brightens my days. You possess a quiet humility that makes you a wonderful friend to all. You constantly impress me when you get down and discouraged, because even in those moments when you are frustrated and complaining, you can still put a big smile on your face and light up the room with your grin. You are a terrific cousin, and it is such a blessing to see you guys stay close through the years. And you lovingly give of yourself to your brother and sister. You are definitely the best brother in the world. I have enjoyed watching you play and practice all kinds of sports and play the trombone that you love. You might play too many video games, but I enjoy watching your excitement about a particular game. It's been a delight to watch you draw and sketch with an artistic eye for detail. I have seen and I know that you have a sincere desire to live a life pleasing to the Lord. You do not like to miss church, and you are very particular about books or shows that do not portray a good message. This is the gift of discernment, and I am so thankful that you are using it and will continue to use it throughout your life. Prayerfully search for the Lord's will, because real and lasting happiness will not come with a great career, or fame, or material possession. Peace of mind and true happiness is to trust in the Lord. As Proverbs 16.20 reads, Whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. Senior year of, is of letting go, when motherhood becomes a complicated mixture of pushing you forward and holding you back. Every day I cry a few tears as I get used to the idea of you becoming an adult and making your own plans. But at the same time, I am excited for you to embrace the next phase of your life. You are the son that every mother dreams of having, and I could not be more proud of the young man you have already become. And know that your daddy would be so proud of you too. I know God has his hand on you and your life. Stay close to him and he will guide your steps. Remember, God's plans for you are good, plans to give you a hope and a future. And know that I am always in your corner, your loudest cheerleader and the proudest mother. Jake, I love you so very much. Congratulations. You have done a great job. Keep it up. Have fun, work hard, and enjoy every single day. Good luck in all your future plans, and God bless you in everything. Hey, Jake. Congratulations on graduating. I love you so much, and Daddy will be so proud of you. Good job. Hey, Jay, I don't really have much time because Mama talked a while. I just want to say I'm really, really, really proud of you. And I love you, and I raised you well. <laughs> Congratulations. I love you, Jay. Marshall, we're so proud of you. One of the many qualities that I really admire about you is your determination to accomplish the things that you set out to do. You really have God-given leadership skills that enable you to motivate others and help them to see their strengths. You're such a blessing to us and to those around you. Keep following where God leads you. He's always going to take care of you as you trust in Him. We're so thankful for you and for what God is doing in your life. We love you, Mama. Marshall, your mother and I are very proud of you. You've demonstrated character and determination by identifying a goal and working hard to achieve that goal. The result has been your award of the National ROTC Scholarship to attend Trevecca University. In church, you often hear about using your talents to glorify God. I think that you have found your talents to be those of leadership and perseverance. As a long-distance runner, you demonstrated the ability to endure physical hardship. You also demonstrated le leadership skills by encouraging your cross-country and track teammates to work to the best of their abilities. As a fisherman, you have often shown how to persevere and have a positive attitude. I've seen you fish for hours when the fish weren't biting. You are, al you are always convinced that the big catch is waiting on the next cast. I've been amazed at times to see how persistent you can be when you are focused on a goal. I think you got that from your mother. I can remember an incident from middle school which exemplified your strength of character and your leadership skills. I received a call from the assistant principal while I was at work and I thought maybe you'd gotten into some trouble. 
Instead, she explained to me that she was calling because you stood up for a classmate who was being bullied by three boys. I remember being proud of you because you did what was right and standing up for someone who needed help. You continue to exhibit those same leadership skills today. In closing, always remember where you came from and continue to stand up for what you know is right. Remember to ask for God's guidance and forgiveness. And as the Christian adventurer Bear Grylls once said, survival can be summed up in three words, never give up. That's the heart of it, really. Just keep trying. Marshall, we know God has a plan for you, and your mother and I love you very much. Blake, I can't believe that this day has come so quickly. You were 18 and graduating from high school. It seems like yesterday you were just a little boy building Hot Wheel tracks all over the house. Now you are all grown up and getting ready for the next chapter in your life. I wish you the strength to face the challenges with confidence, the wisdom to choose your battles carefully. Always stay true to yourself and keep your faith in God. I'm so excited to see where life takes you. No matter how many miles away you are, I will always be just a phone call away. I'm so proud of all your accomplishments and the man that you have become. I love you more than you can even imagine. Congratulations. Walker James, my sweet buddy, I love you so much. I am beyond proud of you and all you've accomplished in your life so far. You make us laugh every day. You are hilarious, fun, caring, smart, loving, and so much more. I've loved watching you grow into the great young man that you've become, and I look forward to all the future holds for you. Especially this last year, watching you be a mentor at my elementary school and figure out that you want to major in education. God has totally gifted you when it comes to working with kids. They love you and you love them. It melts my heart to see you interacting with them. You are going to excel in whatever you do. Remember to follow Jesus and be his hands and feet always. I pray for you every day and will continue that you serve Jesus your whole life long. I'm proud of you and I love you more than words can say. One last thing, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. The years have gone by so fast. I can't believe you have finished high school and will be starting the next great phase of life. I am very proud of the young man you have become, and I know God has great plans for your future. Matthew 6, says this, Seek first the kingdom of God, and its righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. All these things are your daily needs, and God will be faithful to provide those for you, but not necessarily all your wants. My challenge to you is this, not just to seek God, but seek God first, above all things, each day. This will be a daily choice, and not always an easy one, but it will be the foundation of a meaningful life. I look forward to what the future holds. Your mom and I will be here to cheer you on. Colton, we are so proud of the young man you are. You know what you believe in, what's important to you, and you have strong convictions that lead and guide your choices. More than 18 years ago, God trusted us with the privilege and honor of being your parents. The mistakes you've made and the choices you've excelled in have all been part of leading you to this point. It truly did go by so fast. Remembering nights that you stayed up a little late when you wanted to read one more story or midnights when you needed reassurance to fall back asleep. Those are among the memories we will treasure forever. We may have been hard on you sometimes, but that's because this world isn't going to be easy. You have to honor God and work hard to accomplish your goals. No one is going to give it to you. As you leave our home, our church, and many of the things that's been so much a part of your life for the past 18 years, to go to Nashville, you take with you all of our hearts and our prayers. 
let your roots grow down into him and let your life be built on him then your faith will grow strong in the truth we taught you and you will overflow with thankfulness Colossians 2 7 trust God's big plans for your future even when it's less popular not easy and it requires crazy faith lastly always always remember that we love you we are here for you and we are your biggest fans.